Kieran, what lies at the very soul of the artist who, who has created this wonderful work? Where do you come from as an artist? Um, both past references to um, childhood memory, to um, lateral parts of adulthood memory, and um, a combination of situation and domestic. Yeah. So it's, uh, we're looking at a reality of your life here. It's a depiction of circumstances in relation to areas within the life. This particular show is about the danger and the imploding danger in the landscape, but there's different situations within the landscape where we have a threat all the time around us. We have different sorts of situations where we can walk into and there's other situations we can leave, but there's always a threat. Where, a threat do you, anywhere. where do you see that threat? It's an interesting concept that the landscape Electricity, is. anything, anything that moves, anything you touch, anything can harm you. Everything's got a destructive mechanism. Yeah. And sometimes it can be quite beautiful and sometimes it can be quite dark. Yeah. And it's the, the, the water that shimmers under yes. the blue sky can also drown yes. you. Yes. It's grown up, but it also plays with adolescence. Yes. Yes. Much of this from adolescent memory? Places have been took to, places I've seen as a child whilst travelling around different parts of the United Kingdom and the Republic of Ireland. Mm -hmm. And just other areas and site specifics I've been to as a child. Yes. Yes. The technique, it's quite, uh, it's, 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 there's realism here in the technique, it's not abstract. We can identify the imagery and tie the imagery in with the title. Uh, that technique is at the edge of something. It's there, it's different, and it's uniquely and characteristically you, it seems. Well, it's a void, and it's, you've got an indication of a glimmer of reality. But there's also a, there is abstractation in it, and there is oh, yeah. a, there is a denial of reality in parts of the paintings. The construct and the method and the medium sometimes reject and project different genres of things that's going on yeah. within the, the immediate and the, the unimmediate. Yeah. Does the artist here want to do away with reality? Are you shielding something within no, your, no, no, your no. past? No, no, no. Um, but are you rejoicing in your past? I'm not rejoicing in the past, but I really live it and reminisce it, and it's, it's, it's a juxtapose of circumstances of happiness and also of inner, inner fears and um, isn't disability. That, isn't, that, isn't that, Kieran, where we all live, whether we're an artist or not, we're in that sort of dynamic, that moment of tension between the does reality... Does it give you joy or does it not give yes, you joy? Yes, yes, yes. And also, it, your happiest day it can be the Monday, but suddenly the Tuesday comes and it's not so happy. It's grim. It's grim. It moves. Yes. It moves. The, it's uh, an the adult concept and it is also an underlying current towards adolescence. Wow. And adolescence so is and this, early yeah, puberty. Yeah. And is knowledge. this born out of... Uh, to, uh, if that's the case, if we're looking at adolescence, early puberty, is this coming to you from childhood memories that you're growing out of and grow, growing into the new world? It's, it's, to, it's to exterminate. Exterminate what? Exterminate all the disadvantages and disadvantages and disadvantages yeah. that have, has occurred and try and replace them with something positive and yeah. objective and move on. Yeah, and but it also... It's therapy. It, yeah. It seems to me that you're a man of, of, of joy, of, of great talent. And it surprises me that uh, you're destroying something, that yes. you feel you have to move away from something. Yes. To what extent is the work autobiographical? It's moving, but it's also um, hard, hard to accept the autobiographical and escape. Yeah. Escapism. It's escapism. Yes. You're getting out of it. How is Moonlight? Escapism, your first one there. Yes. Tell me about Moonlight. It's about it's romantic ideas. It's it's um, it's romantic and metaphoric. Yeah. Romantic and metaphoric. It's 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 atmospheric. It's gentle. It's peaceful and it's light. Okay. 
Waterfall is a bit like that as well. Your second. It's quite tranquil and suggestive. Um, on the far left hand side, there's a cluster of figures watching quite an extreme waterfall at a certain time of night. Yeah. With a certain type of human light, a certain time of electri electricity light placed on the figures, placed in something lit up. Yeah. A set, yeah. but a set in a natural setting. Yes. Have you, uh, groups of people, I see, uh, they're important. They're observers. They're lookers on. Yes. They're spectators. They're spectators in the sport. And the sport is what? The sport is endurement and an advantage of, an advantagement of not, not, not being brought down, maybe, or not being not destroyed, of triumph. Simplicity and gentleness and a little harmony and a little love. Nice uh, concepts. <laughs> yeah. And, and some of them move. Some of them move on to darker subject matter, but it's up a, that's up a lighter, yeah. lighter feel. Well, we go from waterfall, which is light, light, to witch hunt, which is not essentially a very dark painting. There's something there that's uplifting. If I were to look at that painting and uh, witch hunt, to me is more joyful than sad. It's the rebirth of, it's a, it's, it's, it's this time of year, mm. and it's a death and a rebirth. It's, it's the death of all growth. The leaves fall and the flowers die, and, but the placement of a birth, it's not over. It's yeah. not over, it's, it's a start, it's a judgment, and it's something that will relate both to what's foreseen and what isn't foreseen. Yeah. Okay. Take me now to Mad Summer. Mad Summer is mm. a painting. It's based on a place in Newcastle. It's the forest in Newcastle. It's one of the forests in Newcastle. It's an area that's in it with a lake, but it's being... It's, it's just going crazy. Mm. You've, it, also it, got, you've got a certain light there which would suggest it's very a sky bright. with a sea reflecting. It's very, very vibrant and it's very, very, it's in your face. It's quite abstract and it's... Yeah. It could be difficult for a lot of people to understand or even make a concept out of. Yeah. Well, it starts with, it's a work which is charming. It's, it's, it's pleasing to the eye. It's easy to look at. And then you're taken into the, into the pigment and you're seeing the buildup of color on, on, on board or canvas. And it's you're, quite manic. Yes. It's an amazing, it's an amazing work. And to think that that comes out of the mountain of, of Newcastle <laughs> makes it quite intimate. It, one yes. knows it and one knows where it is and that. Divine Grace. Divine Grace. That's like a, a, the figure in the Divine Grace, the orange figure there. Yes. It's almost like the God reaching down and reaching. It's, it's almost like the, the, the photograph of uh, the birth of Adam, the sort of reaching the fingers touching in, yes. in the Sistine Chapel. It's, it, it's, it's where you've got this place where you go in your head and it's completely beautiful. You know, you mention, uh, you mention beauty juxtaposed with threat and danger. It's anxiety. Anxiety? Yes. Do you, say, do you feel that the, the world you live in it's anxiety. Is anxiety. And it makes you anxious? It causes anxiety. To you? Everyone. Phobia, Everyone. Is, uh, phobia is dangerous threats. Mm -hmm. well, grown, up stuff, yeah. grown up stuff. Grown um, up stuff. The world in which we're living in. Um, daily occurrences. For instance, what goes on on your basic news, it, it can be very, very overpowering and challenging, and it also can be very, very dark. Absolutely. But sometimes there's good comes out of these things and there's sometimes there's a lot of good comes out of a lot of bad there's always good come out of bad and always has been and always will be but we're constantly void by negative imagery we constantly challenge by negativity and it causes anxiety yeah. we're vulnerable in the landscape, there is a danger in the landscape, there's vulnerability everywhere, there's danger everywhere, but there's also an inner light and there's a way out. Now you got it, because that's the, that's the formula for happiness, such yes. as we can have. 
yes. you know, you overcome it. You, you, it's there's a spiritual light. experience. Yeah, absolutely. Now, the, 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 the painting explosion, it's there with the body of someone lying there lifeless in the detritus of all that surrounds. That's a problematic and difficult one with maybe an aeroplane having crashed in the background, full of darkness, full of the consequences of evil. It's quite playful. The uh, colours are quite bright. Oh, they are. Mm. But it's quite a challenging circumstance. And what um, is the circumstance? The circumstance is destruction and death were, um, well, it was a bit about 9-11, so it wasn't watching the horrific evidence yeah. of the no. Twin Towers coming down. 9-11's coming to me. Yes, the Twin Towers were coming down, and it was... And yet you take it away from I put the it into a setting, rural setting. Into a rural setting. And then I played with it and made it quite yeah. colourful and charming. And yeah, which tells you that awfulness isn't always surrounded by concrete. It's there in the most beautiful places. There's a blue lake there. There's a nice sky, but, and the colours are nice, but there is awfulness there too. The church sometimes, the, church, the Christian church and a lot of the church sometimes tell you you're going to hell for a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you don't know what you're going to hell for, and you don't know what to do to be right or what to do to be wrong. And when you're told that the God has died for you to save you, there's nothing in you that needs anyone to prick a finger. But Never you, mind, die for you. But love them. Yeah. But, at least, but there is violence in that. Oh, there is, surely. Yes, there it's very sure. violent. Violence, indeed. Indeed. But it's tempered to some extent. Although you can't get rid of the, the colorfulness, the playfulness that you describe <coughs> doesn't get us away at all from the reality of the violence. You can play with it all you want, but it's still threatening and it's still bleak. It's pretty grim. Yeah. Well, you have the joie de vie now of the, the exploding fireworks and the people, people on a pilgrimage, I would say, in the fireworks painting, the final one we're looking at. Uh, those are people on some kind of mission, I would suggest. Well, there's this concept where they are relating to every celebration of fireworks, every celebration of a generation every celebration of every generation of every generation that's around. Um, it's, it's also playful and suggestive and it also has got dark undertones. Um, but it's simplistic and simple in some parts, but it's quite complex because it's a degenerament of some of the pagan festivals. Yep. But it's quite harmonious with New Year's Eve. Yes, it is. Now, as a painter, uh, when did you first put brush to canvas? <laughs> a year of age. Yeah. No, you mean an actual canvas? Oh, well, yeah. when did when you first paint? Oh, two years of age. Two? Mm. Two, yes. And w was there an awareness in you then and in those who were around you that, I could paint. that you could do something? I thought it was very good. Really? Well, you thought? No, I, they thought. They I, thought. Really I didn't know. You didn't know, but they thought you were very good. Well, I never, well, I've been told very young on that I was good. Isn't that good? That's, that's fantastic to know that. I was noticed to yeah. speak that I could do it. Which is a great springboard. Yes. Gives you a good, a good uh, I've reason. I've always been encouraged yeah. by yeah. family and friends, by Absolutely. family and immediate family. Yes. Always been encouraged. Yeah. Where do you paint? Do you, have you a garret, a place at home? Have you a hut? Or? I work in Belle Art with my mum sometimes. I work in Newcastle in the flat and I've got a studio in Belfast and at the Good Shepherd Centre in Belfast. Right, what's the Good Shepherd Centre? The Good Shepherd Centre is a centre, it's a religious centre but it's based on, the studios are for um, Armouro, uh, for, for, for painters painting but um, it's, it's a centre, it's just, it's a, it's a centre for, um, for just Catholicism. Just really? Yes. So I've worked in there. I work I have a studio there. I've only recently, not for, I haven't been in it for a long time, but I mainly work in my own flat. Yeah. And yeah. I mainly work back at my mum's. Yeah. I would nearly do something every couple of days. Would you? Well, not necessarily start something every yeah. couple of days, but finish something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, something I've been working on and work over it and work yeah. on. And, over and with again. the paint you use, are, is it acrylic or oil? 
I use acrylic or acrylic. I use every medium, every, every mark maker medium. Yeah. And are they, are they compatible on the one canvas? Can you put them? You can put acrylic down first and then you put oils down next. Yeah, um, but you need to do that. Yes, uh, I've learned a lot through university and stuff, so. Yeah, but university would have given you the, the structure of the uh, engineering of the thing. Yes, of course. University doesn't give you the talent to do no, that. No, no. They never taught. They taught. They never taught. Me, they taught me a lot, but they, they they never told me. Told me. No. What to do? No. You mention uh, the Good Shepherd's place. Are you a spiritual person at all? Have you belief in God, for instance? A oh, firm belief in God. Have you? Yes. I sometimes find it difficult. It's very challenging. I'm firm belief in Satan as well. Yeah, evil in the world. Yes. That's important too. Well, the God end of it's important to you. Yes, I believe in God. Keeps him close. You keep him close by. Yes. Yeah. And to what extent do you think that the God of your belief guides your hand in these things? And when you start painting, do you feel that there is a kind of spiritual intervention? To some There's extent? a throw between satanicalism and Christianity. There's a what? A throw between. A throw between the two. Yeah. And Christianity. Yeah. And by that you mean. I feel I've been tempted sometimes, and sometimes I feel that I've been light. Yeah. Not yeah. may sound mad, but no, it's true. It's the way it is. It's the way life, yeah. isn't yes. it? Yeah. This is wonderful. I can have Satan, I can have hell, or I can have heaven. I feel that that's the opportunity that's lying in front of everyone. Mm. You have hell or heaven. choice. It's, you have your own choice to decide yeah. to have heaven or hell. Mm. And there is both. Yeah. And both will play to you. Yeah. But you have to pick one over the other. You would hope it would be of the heaven, yeah. but the heaven's nice, but it's hard to live in when you're whilst you're on earth with yeah. challenges. So sometimes you fluctuate between heaven and hell. <coughs> You've made the choice, yes? But I made the choice to be with God. That's a nice choice. Yes. I wish you well. Thank you. You're a good man. That's Thank you. Great. Thank you. God bless you. Thanks for interviewing me.